Hi, welcome to Make or Repair. I've been trying to make a bit of space in the lab and I came across this RF device that I'd scavenged at some point. I think from a badly damaged spectrum analyzer. Yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, the question is, what is it? So I thought I'd find out, take you along for the ride. I think this would be quite a quick video. My first guess is that it's some sort of filter, maybe a bandpass or a low pass filter. That seems most likely. It could be an attenuator. But uh, an attenuator of this size, yeah, my money's on filter, I think. Anyway, let's take a look inside, because I don't know about you, I always like to see a bit of RF magic, and uh, some of the designs are amazing. Yep, okay, and there we have it, lid off. I've tried to avoid disturbing anything, and we can see a beautiful little design in there. So at the bottom, there's a bit of expensive PCB. Then along the way, we can see a collection of capacitive and inductive parts. So large plates and little hoops, and uh, yeah, very symmetrical along its way. So in my opinion, yeah, that is most definitely a filter. So let's get it reassembled and uh, onto the VNA, take a look and see what the actual performance is. First job then is just to calibrate out any effect of any cables. So I've just done that and we can see we've got a nice straight line at zero dB all the way up to three gigahertz. So now I just need to actually insert the device on the test, keeping the same connectors and everything. So nothing is changing apart from the device on the test is going in. And uh, it will take just a minute or two because I'm bound to end up fumbling with some threads or something. But anyway, we'll get that on there and then just see how this turns out. Okay, and there we have it. So we're looking pretty flat at zero dB all the way up to about uh, 2.1 gigahertz, something like that. And then we're falling really, really rapidly. So this is quite a good filter. It's cutting quite hard. I mean, it's dropping down to about minus uh, 70, minus 80 dB, something in that region. So I'm pretty pleased with that. We'll take a quick look at this line just to see how flat it is. I'll do a bit of a close up just to see how flat the flat section actually is there could be a bit of ripple in there of course but uh, overall i'm pretty pleased this is this is clearly a 2.1 2.2 gigahertz low pass filter and there we are zoomed right into 2 db per division and i can see the flatness is better than about 0.3 db for most of the flat section a little 2 db mess around about 1.8 gigahertz and then a minus 3 dB at 2.16, 2.17 gigahertz is where we've got that marker. So just running the marker backwards and forwards a bit to, uh, to take a look. But yeah, pretty good. Now I have noticed the IF overload warning is showing, so I'm going to need to reduce the VNA output level a little before I do fuller characterization. And I might find the response improves then, but it is pretty good and fine for now. Certainly. This device is ideal for the front end of any test gear, like a network analyzer or such like, that could actually calibrate out those minor uh, ripples. There's virtually no loss on it, so it's excellent. Well, anyway, there we have it. It's a 2.17 gigahertz low pass filter with a really, really good response. Uh, this is one of my shortest videos, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was a quick look at uh, RF Voodoo, really, but uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click notify, share, comment, and all that jazz. And I'll see you soon for something a little more substantial. Bye for now.